we just got back to the hotel there is a storm a brewing we ate at this wonderful place called mission barbecue very very good they're all about the troops and all about our first responders anyways take a look at the storm find it very weird or almost cool how this storm is moving in just like a shell. If you look right along here, ooh, there's more lightning. So probably standing underneath these trees uh, during a lightning storm isn't a great place to be standing. So I don't know about Kip. He can stay out here and film all he wants. I'm going inside. I'm going with you. <laughs> Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason, this is Old Car Auto Guy, and today we are going to be showing you the video from yesterday morning when we made a trip to Diablo Formula Racing. So guys, stay tuned. It's a pretty interesting video. You're not gonna wanna miss out. Well, good morning guys. We are in a little place called Mount Joy. Yep. Is that what this place is? Mount Joy. Mount Joy, PA, and that is the home of Whitmoyer Chevrolet. And if you guys are, again, are not familiar with Whitmoyer Chevrolet, that is where Street Speed 717 makes uh, purchases on pretty well all of his Corvettes that he buys. So we are about to come up on it. In fact, there it is. And as we pull in, you'll see we've got a Stingray couple of them sitting out here. This is their used lot. They still have plenty of uh, 19s. They do. All kinds of them sitting back there. Mm. Yep. And even a nice Camaro. Looks like a... Is that an SS? Can't see the designation on it. Anyways, we do know that Whitmoyer Chevrolet is just another business. And, uh, you know, we don't look at this as a... Uh, destination point for travel for tourism by no means however I just think it's kind of neat to come here and see what you see from Street Speed 717's point of view so that's all we really wanted to do is kind of swing by here and uh, take a look they've got lots of cars lots of Corvettes still left 2019 Corvettes and uh, maybe we'll take one of those home we say Kip all yeah, right. sure. Yeah, let's, I'll, let's I'll let it. you drive. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm in. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, uh, we just thought we'd stop here on our way to uh, Andy's uh, at Diablo Formula Racing. So that's where we're headed this morning, uh, and after that, we're going to be jumping over to uh, Steve Fast at Hammerdown Motorsports. So, guys, stay tuned. And as we're rolling around here at Whitmore, we see what looks to be Shane's H3 truck here. A little bit dirty, don't you think? Yeah, just a little bit. Anyways, the things you see. We also saw Matt Beaver standing outside there, so you just never know who you're going to see. So, folks, we are just about ready to pull into Westy's Speed Shop and Andy's at Diablo Formula Racing, so we're going to go in and see what everything's all about. There we have it, folks. There is Andy's Dirty Mac, still up on jack stands. I'd say he's still working on the transmission on this thing. If you don't follow Andy. You should be, he's way bigger than I am. I'm gonna put a link to his channel right here. So Andy hasn't made it here yet, apparently, but uh, that's no big deal. We're gonna take a look around and as I walk over here, I see a uh, 55 two-door hardtop Bel Air. And what looks like maybe the same 57 Crown Victoria maybe. Definitely lots of patina on that one. Well, hello there. That is a fair lane, I guess, not a Crown Vic. Sorry to say, I don't know my Fords. And here's a truck I know Junior would, uh, would appreciate. I don't know if you guys can see the rainbow effect in the color. Yeah, you can even see that.
all kinds of nice cars here. We've got a red Camaro over there, an SS. We've got a Camaro here. We've got a Challenger here. We've got another Camaro convertible here. Anyways, we're just going to hang out here for a little bit, take a tour inside, see what we're working on today. Now this looks familiar. If my wife is watching, a professional's workbench. All right, guys, we are down here at Diablo Formula Racing. I've got Andy, who is quite surprisingly a little bit shorter than I expected. Uh, everybody to tell you the says truth. that. <laughs> everybody <laughs> says that. Every time they come here and, or they meet me out in public, they're like, you look a lot taller in your videos. And I'm like, it's because I hold the camera down like this. <laughs> <laughs> he does that for a reason. But then again, I'm six, I'm six foot two, so a lot of people are short to me. So anyways, one of the things that I wanted to do when I come down here was I wanted to give Andy a couple of gifts from Canada. So we're going to go out to the trunk of old grandma and uh, we're going to give him a little surprise. Let's head out there now. It's like a big boat, but it looks like a big comfortable boat. It's a very yeah. comfortable boat. 14 hours in this is nothing. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like yeah. it looks like a very nice and, comfortable big boat. And 25 miles a gallon. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. That's not bad for this. Yeah. What was it a 4.6? Four 4.6. Six. Four six. Is it? Okay. Completely stock. Uh, uh, other to, than exhaust. Listen, best way to keep it. Completely yeah. stock. They last forever when you do that. Oh, yes. The minute you start messing around with stuff, that's when things start breaking, breaking. <laughs> so first things first, Andy, is in Canada, we have a store which is kind of like a convenience store for men. It's called Canadian Tire, and they sell tires. They do service work. But you brought they me also a tire? You brought me a tire. Tools. No, 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 no. So they have a rewards program which is called Canadian Tire Money. Okay. And every time you make a purchase, they give you some. So this is a 50 cent <laughs> piece from Canadian Tire. You'll see it right there. That's you can hang funny. that up on your wall. Definitely. And I mean, when you go to Canadian Tire, you can redeem it anytime. Like, yeah, maybe I'll go up there and get a flat. There you go. <laughs> you know? Now I got a fifty dollar, fifty cent credit. Look 50 at that. Cent credit. Yeah. Also, I'll give you a uh, old car auto awesome. sticker. Nice. You can nice. stick that wherever you want. The other thing that I've have been made aware of <laughs> in uh, in the in the states is that Lay's does not produce ketchup chips. I hope you like chips. We we don't produce the ketchup chips you don't here. No. So I, I know that. I can tell you that for a fact. So. <laughs> I came prepared with ketchup chips. Wow. Yeah, they're, we definitely don't have these here. They're at very all. tangy. Okay. And I mean, it's not something you want to eat a whole bag of. <laughs> and uh, they will turn your fingers red, just like cheesy really? turning orange. Yeah. So, anyways, really? it's, it's wow. very, uh, they're very good. And so, there's a, a, another gift from Canada for you guys to try That's out. Awesome. And last but not least, <laughs> it's like en endless gifts. <laughs> we have straight from Fredericton, New Brunswick. It's a it's a small brew, small batch brewery, brewery, and it's called Pickaroons is okay. the name of the beer, and Dooryard uh, is the uh, label on this one. It's four and a half percent alcohol, okay, and uh, it's a very light wheat ale, and uh, I really hope you enjoy. Actually, I brought uh, I brought a couple for you so you can. Uh, We'll stick them in the refrigerator. There you go. I'll, I'll start holding. Yeah, yeah you still. Yeah, I need to see holding. some ID, sir. Uh, uh, <laughs> Run. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy those yeah, uh, those gifts, definitely. and uh, I know that uh, you know you're not going to be able to uh, try that out. But when you do become 21 and you make, actually, you only got to be 19 in Canada. Oh yeah. So if you're ever in oh, Canada. Oh wow. Yeah. Stop by. We'll we'll buy you a beer. Oh wow. <laughs> so guys, we've accomplished this with Andy. He's very uh, happy with this. I'm chips. actually more excited to try these. Yeah. Nice. And uh, and it has zero trans fat and zero gas trans. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, we're uh, we we've given him the gifts. That's one of the things we come down here to do. We're going to also take a tour around the shop. He's going to talk a little bit a uh, little bit to us about some of his vehicles and uh, we'll go from there. So Andy, off camera you were telling us a little bit about the car and, and why it's not running and why it's yeah. not being producing very much content for you right now. Yeah. Do you mind sharing that with, the, with, the, with our well, followers? Or? Basically it has a Ford engine, it's a 5.4 <laughs> liter Triton. Um, and unfortunately the spark plugs have stripped out of the head, like the four sixes, and, um, and the head gasket's blue. <laughs> So, I'm sorry, I can't put that in there. <laughs> I mean, you, you can't, you definitely can't put it in there. It'll work. 
<laughs> I didn't want to give away any trade secrets here on old Ghost Ozzy. <laughs> <laughs> trade secrets. <laughs> yeah. Now yeah. it, does. it really <laughs> does look like an LS, folks. I'm just saying, it really does. But it, it, listen, this is all just a big cover yeah. on for the 54 liter engine. That's yeah. all it is. It's just a big giant cover that makes it look like an LS, but it's really not an LS. Green screens are magic. Yeah, yeah it's a there green. It's go. a big green screen right here. Yeah, my <laughs> editing skills with green. No, so. <laughs> Just for the record, everything he said it's about the 5.4 is true. <laughs> <laughs> Head gaskets and blown spark true. plugs. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, uh, so the injectors are out of it right now, the 210s. And um, I sent them out to HPI injection or injectors, HPI injectors out in Illinois, I think is where they're located. They're testing the injectors and cleaning them and all that stuff. I should hear back from today. And basically what I told them, I was like, whether they're good or bad or whatever the case may be, I want to drop down to a 120cc injector as opposed to the 210ccs because they're just too big for the setup and I want to move back to pump gas instead of uh, E85 and still make good horsepower. So. And the reason for that is, is because pump gas is so much more reliable, consistent. It is, yeah. yeah. The, yeah. E, the, the E85 with a stock computer and them big giant injectors just aren't working out very well for me. It made great power at wide open throttle, but when it comes to tune, like idling and cruising, it's just more difficult to tune, and I'd rather just make it simplistic again. Because this entire build was just a, just mainly supposed to be just a simple build. A simple, you can go out, you can go out, you could, you know, spend the money to buy the turbo kit, the engine, the heads, whatever, put it all in, take it down the road and drive it. So Andy, before we go too much further, yeah. I want to play a little game that we call translation, okay? So I'm gonna get you to say a word in, in PA and I'll okay. translate it to English for the rest of my viewers up in Canada, okay? I didn't hear him say that in English. <laughs> I, I didn't hear him say that. Okay. It kinda, it kinda got me like yeah. this up. I'm like, isn't it already English? Okay, so. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> That's a. <laughs> That's a radiator. So in, in English, folks, this is a radiator. <laughs> it's a radiator. Okay. Uh, it's a radiator. I, I, I have to agree with I him applaud. on that one. <laughs> that was, Dude, that was good. Okay. Today, everybody was bitching to me about Number that. two. Oh Number God. two. Final question. Okay. All or nothing. What do you lubricate your engine internally with? Oil. Engine oil. Say, say that again. Engine oil. Oh, I see. You're not doing it now. On camera, you oh. call it oil. I, you could ask me to say filter instead. Oh, it's a filter. <laughs> there you go. See, we got two for there. So, oil and filter. 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 Just, it's a filter. I kinda Folks, we have a winner. He's earned his gifts today. It has a, it has a hard D. Hard D. <laughs> filter with a hard D. Yeah, filter with a silent D. You see? <laughs> yeah. We, we don't we don't pronounce the D here in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> it's you know what it is. I talk but, so fast. But we can get him back. What? Um, the company that makes the uh, Ultima. Nissan? Thank you. Ah, <laughs> Nissan. Nissan. That's what I call it. No, you Nissan. don't. Sorry, I call it a Nissan. Let me right. ask you this. Thank when you. you came into this town, what'd you call this town? Ah, see, we <laughs> talked about this. Okay, I, I need to explain myself. So, the name of this town, mm -hmm. E-P-H-R-A-T-A. -A. I know exactly what he means. We, we talked about this. Kip yep. and I talked about yep, this on what is the correct pronunciation. pronunciation. Yeah. Now, from Canada, I'd call it Ephrata. Yeah. <laughs> but only because I watch Andy, I know it's Ephrata. It's Ephrata. Everybody calls it Ephrata. Yeah. Everyone calls it. There's also, uh, yeah, yeah. oh, we have some That's weird names down here. Yeah, it, it is. Everybody. And we, we, we talked names. about it earlier. Lancaster. Uh, yeah. in, in Canada, you look at that on paper, it's Lancaster. Mm -hmm. Lancaster. But it, it, right. down here, it's... That's the European version yeah. of Lancaster. Lancaster. And we and we did we did see an Amish lady at the stoplight on her oh bicycle. God. Oh, catch any buggies yet? Yeah, no. no. You didn't see no, no buggies. We're no we're no good. buggies. We're yet. Horse crap all over the place. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, well the buggies were there. That's wait till wait till you That's see a buggy. Yeah, wait till you see a buggy. Just cutting in front of people. Yeah. You know what? You'll probably see, probably going up to Steve's. You'll probably see buggies. Yeah. You'll, you'll see probably see a buggy on up on uh, up uh, up that way because he's not far from uh, Maple Grove and there's buggies there. Yeah. Yeah. You'll you'll see. I mean, if you go. We didn't see them, but like I said, just. All you have to do is go over to freaking, I tell you what, you take 322 and go into New Holland, East Earl, yep. you'll see buggies all over the place. Because yeah. there's nothing but farms around, it's all farmland around here. Yeah. It's all farms. So you'll, before you leave, you will see a buggy. I'm pretty guaranteeing that one. Well guys, this is where I'm going to end my video. Uh, I'm sure Kip may have a few more questions for Andy. But anyways, Andy, thank you so much no for opening up your shop and letting us come in and 
poke fun uh, a little it's bit. A, totally okay. <laughs> and uh, I, I get it all day long. Diablo Formula Racing. You can find him on Instagram as well as Facebook and right on YouTube. I'll leave a link down in the description box below, guys. Make sure you check them out. Deuces. Don't forget, LastFit is sponsoring Old Grandma and the headlights, license plate lights, and reverse lights. We're soon going to be switching out some more, so make sure you stay tuned for that. If you want your very own LED automotive lights for your vehicle, you can visit LastFit.com. And if you use promo code OLDCARAUTOGUY10, you'll get 10% off. Also, Sussex Beard Oil is always sponsoring this beard. Get your very own beard products at sussexbeard.com. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Let's do it again real soon.